Here we see the Hollywood Temple. Filmed in 1930, we see Swami Prabhavananda with Sister Lalita, Mrs. Carrie Mead Wyckoff, and Swami Vividishananda. Sister Lalita, together with her sisters, Mrs. Alice Mead Hansbro and Helen Mead, met Swami Vivekananda on his trip to California in late December of 1899. She later became a disciple of Swami Turiyananda and an admirer of Swami Prabhavananda when he was in Portland. In 1929, she gave him her property in Hollywood to establish a Vedanta society there. This is the pond garden area where the temple was built in 1937 and dedicated in 1938. Swami Vividishananda, who was head of the Vedanta Society of Northern California in San Francisco from 1931 till 1932, in 1938, Swami Vividishananda started the Vedanta Society of Western Washington in Seattle. He remained there until his death in 1980. From left to right, we see Shraddha, Dorothy Lewis, Sister Lalita, Swami Prabhavananda, and Swami Vividishananda. This is the Santa Barbara main house before the dining room addition. This property was given to the society by Spencer Kellogg in 1943. Swami Prabhavananda served as assistant to Swami Prakashananda at the Vedanta Society of Northern California in San Francisco from 1923 to 1925. In 1929, when Sister Lolita convinced him to go to Hollywood, he started the Vedanta Society of Southern California, which he headed until his death in 1976. We see the back of the head of Pravrajika Sarada Prana as a Brahmacharini, Shraddha Lewis, Maria de Guarda with dark hair, and Pravrajika Bharata Prana as a Brahmacharini. Moitre, Pravrajika Prabhaprana as a Brahmacharini, and an unknown woman. Gerald Hurd with the beard gave the Trabuco Monastery to the Society in 1949. Next to him is Henry Dennison and Michael Barry, Gerald Hurd's secretary and companion. Swami Prabhavananda at the Trabuco Monastery with Henry Dennison and others. The Malvina Hoffman sculpture of Swami Vivekananda is seen through the door. The Trabuco Monastery was originally developed by Gerald Hurd, the well-known writer and lecturer, as a religious college for the study of mysticism. In 1949, he persuaded the board members to deed the property to the Vedanta Society. These are the monastery buildings. Here is Bob Lewis, who took most of this film with Swami Prabhavananda. Swami Yogeshananda and Swami Anamananda as brahmacharis are on the left. Swami Yogeshananda wrote The Visions of Ramakrishna and Six Lighted Windows, memories of six of the early Swamis who worked in the West. In 1992, he re-established Swami Bhashyananda's sub-center in Atlanta. Left is Michael Barry, Hans in the plaid shirt, Henry Dennison, Ananta, and Swami Krishnananda as a brahmachari on the far right. We see Swami Prabhavananda leading a procession of visiting Swamis from around the country. 
Swami Vividishananda from Seattle, Swami Pavitrananda from the New York West Side Center, Swami Asashananda, assistant in Southern California, Swami Shraddhananda while assistant in San Francisco, Swami Ritajananda, assistant in Southern California, Swami Vandanananda, assistant in Southern California. In 1959 or 1960, at the Vivekananda House in South Pasadena, familiarly called Swamiji House, we see Swamis Akilananda and Prabhavananda. Behind them are Don Montague, called Virabhadra, and Swami Vandarananda. Swami Krishnananda follows. Virabhadra bought the house and then gave it to the society in 1956. Here we see the front of the Vivekananda house where Swamiji stayed on his visit to California in 1900.